solve your scientific notation problems in your calculator as long as you're careful and you're pretty good with the calculator. That said, conceptually a lot of people have trouble with scientific notation and I want to address that because the conceptual stuff is kind of underpinning for this. If you're not very clear about how scientific notation works, you're much, much more likely to make a mistake on this. And these are points you should really get. Now this isn't an every test topic, although there usually is a decimal question of some sort. It's more of a 75% of tests, and it's something that shouldn't take you much time to get the hang of. There's some really good example problems in the book, so take a look at those. I want to talk about two problems. One's on the bottom of your screen. We'll, we'll hit it second, but let's look at this first. This is also in the book. Let's say I have 8.4 times 10 to the 9th divided by 4.2 times 10 to the 6th. Now, I'm going to talk about the mechanics of scientific notation when we deal with the second problem. Right now, I just want to focus on the uh, operations with exponents part. So we'll kind of backtrack in a way and talk about how scientific notation works in a minute. So this is a division problem, right? And if you recall from the multiplying dividing exponents section, the best way to handle these is to subtract exponents. You may want to check out that video for more. So 10 to the 9th, 10 to the 6th, I'm dividing, same base, 10, different exponents. Dividing, that means I subtract. So I could say, in terms of the exponent, this is 10 to the 9 minus 6, or 10 to the 3rd. 8.4 divided by 4.2 is 2. And check that in your calculator. 2 times 10 to the 3rd would be your answer. Relatively straightforward, right? And so even if you plan on using your calculator, if you're not so great at it, the math is fairly straightforward. It's not too hard. Now let's talk about the mechanics of scientific notation. Let's look at this bacteria problem. Bacteria colony measures 6.08 times 10 to the negative seventh. Meters. Colony of bacteria is 3,000 bacteria wide. is equal to a colony. I guess I could put that if I want. A little pedantic. A single bacteria is this big. There's 3,000 of them. It's a word problem. This is a pretty common setup for a slightly more difficult scientific notation decimal sort of question. The first thing to do is figure out what operation you're going to use. Um, if it's 3,000 wide, it's like this, right? So you could add this 3,000 times, but repeated addition is just multiplication. So really all I'm going to do is multiply this times 3,000. So I can set that up. And we'll talk about two ways to do this. Now, way one is to put it in your calculator very much like this. And that should work out fine. You may need to do some, some jiggering, some manipulation with your answer, depending on what kind of mode your calculator is set up in, to get uh, an answer back into scientific notation, but it should be fine. Other way to do this, it's a way I encourage you to at least be comfortable with, is to say, well, let's just do it in the way scientific uh, notation is designed and convert 3,000 to scientific notation. That's why we have scientific notation. It makes large numbers and really small numbers easy to work with. These are incredibly small numbers, right? Makes them easy to work with. So 3,000 bacteria wide. Scientific notation works this way. We want one number to the left of the decimal, one whole number, and then everything else is to the right. So we start out with 3,000. Now I'm moving this decimal, 3,000.00, you know, moving this decimal one place, two places, three places. And I'm making the number smaller. So 3.0 times, every time I move the decimal, it's a power of 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 to the third. Okay. So now I can go back up here with my scientific notation. 
3.0 times 10 to the third. So I would multiply exponents first because that's just what I like to do. Negative 7, same base, same base, 10 and 10. Negative 7 times 3, that's going to be addition, is the same base. So 10 to the negative 7 plus 3, our new exponent is 10 to the negative 4. Now for the numeric part, 3 times uh, 6.08 will be 18.24. So 18.24 times 10 to the negative fourth is our answer. But, but it's not in scientific notation, right? Because remember, it's got to be one decimal. One number to the left of the decimal, I should say. So again, I'm making this number smaller. So I'm going to increase my exponent. It's going in the positive direction. So it goes from negative 4, which is lower than negative 3. So it goes up by 1, up to negative 3 negative 4. And that's your answer. So when I make numbers smaller, I have positive exponents. When I make numbers bigger, I have negative exponents. And let's go ahead and do this really quickly. Let's express this number in terms of decimal. Right? 6.08 times 10 to the negative 7. Now this doesn't have any bearing on what you would do on an ACT problem really. Just to show you. So you can turn off the video now if you want. So, okay, makes it smaller, right? So this is one, two, start filling in zeros, three, four, five, six, seven. And my decimal is going to go right here. So in decimal form, 6.08 times 10 to the negative seventh is. 0. 0.00000608. This negative seven is cool. That's it. So practice the practice the practice problems. Uh, go through the examples. Don't sweat this one too much, but be sure that you can handle it in your calculator without making mistakes. 